Kit Alowitz with another video segment from the leadership journey. In a moment, I'll be introducing several of our self-paced leadership journey folks. We've got a self-paced version and we've got a signature version. We asked several of these folks to just share a perspective on what it's like being in the journey on the self-paced until we can actually open it up to everyone. So without further ado, take it away. So the self-paced leadership journey to me is like anything where you choose to improve yourself, whether it be personally, professionally, um, going back to school, getting another degree, uh, learning a new skill, um, playing a musical instrument, a new exercise routine, anything like that, that you have to keep yourself accountable. Um, you start with a plan. Um, you hope to stick to that plan <laughs> and like all plans, something gets in the way. Um, I, I started the self-paced leadership journey in March and uh, I think it was March and then everything just kind of happened um, with COVID as one of them and it was just one of those things that kind of fell off my plate. So I started back up uh, a few months ago and I'm trying to keep myself more accountable um, with that, it is a little difficult going through some of the PowerPoints and trying to take from them everything that is intended. Um, obviously, you're just reading what's there. You're missing a piece of the, the picture when you're just reading it. You miss that conversation. You miss those little tidbits that are added anytime somebody presents something to you. Um, you know, I, I typically use PowerPoints as just as notes and there's more that I add to it whenever I'm presenting it. So therefore, you don't get that in a self-paced leadership journey. Even with uh, holding each other accountable and having our weekly sessions or bi-weekly sessions, we read the articles, we talk about what we've learned, we talk about what we've seen, um, either personally or professionally, you know, conversations that we've had with others that have been through the signature journey and it still just doesn't feel the same. It's like being virtual versus being in the classroom. Um, to me, there's, there's a big difference there. So some things that I would like to see from those on the signature journey is maybe just taking one of us under your wings and you know reaching out and saying, hey, we went through this presentation and I would really like to sit down with you and go over the notes that I took and just kind of talk about those little added bonuses that you get by being in the room. Starting the informal leadership journey has been both challenging and rewarding. Uh, setting aside time to complete articles and exercises that had no set due date was initially difficult. Um, but knowing the reward that could come with that, I was able to find a small group to interact with, and we now meet every week. It's been great meeting up with the same group every time, discussing a lot of the articles that we had read through the week, going through some of the PowerPoints and material together, and having those ideas to bounce off of each other. So to those of you in the formal journey, I would say don't hesitate to reach out to us. I know that we've already reached out to you in some capacity, and um, I know we've had a couple of you come and talk to us while we're going through the presentation and through some of the material and we've even had other people join our small group. So overall it's been a great experience. I'm excited to keep on with this journey and bettering both myself and working with my coworkers on their goals too. So the self leadership the self-paced leadership journey is definitely more challenging and eye-opening than originally expected. Um, I would say what's most interesting about it is you have to be more so intrinsically motivated and willing to apply the principles to yourself rather than having a big group to be that external motivating factor for you to take on those lessons. Um, secondly, I would remind the people of the signature leadership journey to engage with anyone about conversations that the principals have maybe given them. Um, it's not really easy for someone in the self-paced leadership journey to see who is in it or not. So being more public about their involvement and their leader, their learning opportunities while doing so would be greatly appreciated. Mm -hmm.